Hey everyone, Mark Buffa here from Buffa Distribution live here in Montreal, Canada, alongside my good friend Bud Clapsaddle from Dexter Bowling with us. He's doing his last hurrah <laughs> coming back. And today we're going to talk about Bud's top five tips on how to choose your next pair of shoes. All right, so Bud, here's my list of our top five, or your top five, things to look for when you're looking for your next pair of shoes. And number one you suggested was? Fit. The shoe has to fit. Whether it looks good or whether it's just okay, you need to make sure that the shoe fits you properly or you're not gonna be happy. Number two, what's one of the things that the pro shop operator needs to, to ask before proceeding to the sale? In my opinion, I want to see his old shoe. Show me what you've been bowling in. That's going to tell me a lot. It's going to tell me what kind of price points you're into. It's going to show me how you're wearing your shoe. And it's going to tell me a little bit about the style that you enjoy. So uh, we've got a pair of shoes here uh, that we're going to demonstrate. So here we've got an older pair of SST8s. Yep. And we see here that the traction foot is quite beat up. So uh, give us a little bit of a recommendation on this, uh, but. The first thing that I would look at is I look at the toe and I see that he's really dragging that toe severely. So that tells me two things. <coughs> he may need to upgrade into the nine, which has a new permanently fixed durable toe piece on there that will help ensure that the shoe lasts a long, long time. So uh, since you're on that topic, okay. so let's, let's just demonstrate that. So as we see here on the THE technology, it is part of the sole versus the shoe. He's absolutely just destroying the front part of his shoe. He's going to have to replace his shoe. Okay. And second option would be? We have a new shoe called the Hybrid, uh, SST6 Hybrid. And with this shoe, we've implemented the technology from a shoe that we used to have called the Tank, which has an extremely durable toe piece. This will help protect the front part of that shoe uh, from being destroyed like this was. So, Bud, now that we got a chance to see what the bowler has in their feet right now, the third thing that we were going to talk about was the performance level. We have the style of shoes where there's the two uh, slide soles, then there's also the uh, push foot. So what would be some of the advantages? Why would somebody want to upgrade from a dual slide setup to a designated push foot? Exactly. In order to generate energy to go into your delivery, you need to have some traction on your non-slide foot. So if you're a right-handed bowler, you want to have some traction on your right foot. And so our next level up as far as performance, you want to have a right-left specific shoe. So it would have a slide component on your left shoe and a traction or a rubber material on your right foot. Next up, bud, you want to look at what we were talking about earlier, performance level. Okay, so we have a bowler that had a performance type shoe and we want to see the differences between the, the styles of shoe. So here, bud, we've got a THE 9 technology. So this would be catered more towards which type of player? That's a high performance bowler. Okay. That's dragging his foot and he wants to protect the shoe so he can replace the toe piece without uh, having to replace the shoe. Okay, so this would be for somebody that bowls maybe, you know, two nights a week. Yep. Uh, tournament bowler. Tournament bowler, stuff yep. like that. So exactly. especially also with the interchangeable soles, maybe guys that bowl in different centers. Correct. Things of that nature. Exactly. Okay, so let's step down now to your more casual type of bowler. Um, let's start out with something more entry level. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about, you know, something like a Ricky style bottom. This is what probably 90% of the bowlers out there that are watching our videos are gonna be wearing something like this. So um, let's explain a little bit about some of the, the features on this versus the rest of the line. Okay, basically the bottom of the shoe is a flat bottom. So there isn't any raised heel, uh, which is a performance feature. So what we do is we have microfiber or, or something uh, man-made that allows the bowler to slide and as he delivers the ball, the problem with an entry-level shoe is the slide material is on both feet. We call this universal. So whether you're right foot, right-handed or left-handed, you're going to have the same exact compounds on both of your shoes. And if we look at a, a little bit of a step up, like you were saying, 
Um, like on this one here, we see that the slide pad isn't as long. And once you go up a little bit in price point, then we have a little bit of a longer slide pad. Correct. This will give you a little better performance even in a universal situation where both feet have a microfiber on it. This will allow you to slide longer and stay more into your shot than what this will. And then the next step up from that would be something where we have a designated push foot. Correct. Right? So this is going to be for the bowler that maybe already has a universal type sole like what you're saying, correct. Uh, but wants to step up his game and get a little bit more leverage going into the foul line, correct? correct. The next, yeah, the next price point up would be a right left specific shoe. It still has man-made materials on the upper so we can keep the price down a little bit, but this will allow you to generate more energy as you deliver the bowling ball. Just to, to also let everybody know that this technology where uh, basically you have a push foot is on every high performance shoe. Correct. correct, absolutely. So Bud, next let's talk about the different styles of lacing systems, I guess if you want to yep. say. Yep. So uh, you taught me this a long time ago and I love bragging about it and it's pretty cool. So explain to us the difference between a blucher and a U-throat. Okay, it's really pretty simple, but all shoes are made one way or another. They're either a U-throat or a blucher. A U-throat, actually the eye stay is what we, this is the eye stay, both sides of the, of the lacing. The eye stay is fixed. So this gap right here or this distance can never be changed. So this shoe will actually fit less feet than a blucher will. Uh, it's more for aesthetics. That's the reason why this is like this. It's, it's nicer looking, more pleasing to the eye, but it doesn't fit as many feet as a blucher does. Okay, so a blucher here, what, what's the main difference? I, I see a big difference here at the, at the top. You're gonna see a bigger gap as you look down at your shoe, but this eye stay, both these eye stays can actually expand or cinch up tighter on the foot. So if you've got a little narrower foot, this shoe will cinch up and fit you better. Or if your shoe or if your foot is a little wide, it will actually expand a little bit and accept a little wider foot. So the shoe is going to fit better than a than a youth throat will. So uh, just uh, let's let's just do a little resume here of this. So as we see here on the blucher, there's no stitching here Correct. around the toe piece. Correct. Whereas here we see that it's it's fixed. So really that's the main difference between the two. So. Um, I guess for another recap feature, this would fit probably people with a little bit of a wider foot, or narrow. maybe some bunions or, or narrow, or mm -hmm. some, some people are a bit more, more specific, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, youth throat and blucher. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget that both of these styles of, of basic lacing systems, or Correct. however you want to call this, they're not just available in the running shoe style of shoes, it's basically it across the board. Exactly. Right. exactly. Number four, let's talk about comfort and how basically the shoe will fit your heel. But let's talk a little bit about that. So on this model here, we see that basically the heel piece is a little bit higher on your Achilles versus uh, the uh, the other shoe here, which is a bit more round. Low profile. Yeah. So like you said here, low profile. So this isn't going to ride up as high. If you have a low ankle, this is going to bite into your shoe. If you have a low ankle, this will be okay because it sits down lower. Yeah. So it won't rub on your foot. So basically, go to your pro shop, try on a whole bunch of different shoes. As you see, points three and four are basically fit. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So just go on, shop for a shoe as you would just any normal running shoe, and just try a whole bunch of them. Exactly. And figure something out that, that works for you. And then lastly, one of the added benefits of getting your limited edition. Yeah, right. THE9 from Dexter is also compression the, com socks. the brand exactly. new compression socks. Exactly. So uh, when you walked in earlier, you told me, hey, did you try on the socks? And I said, no, not yet. So what's, what's, what, what's this compared to basically what I have on my feet right now? You know, one of our other brands uh, in HH Brown is a, is a nursing shoe company called Nursemates. Nursemate compression socks is a multi-million dollar business for our company. So nurses know the value of compression socks. When they're on their feet all day, they need that extra support. We know that high performance bowlers are bowling in tournaments. They could be on their shoes for eight hours, eight to 10 hours in a day. So we wanna make sure that you've got maximum support as you're doing your bowling. So we wanted to match the color combo with the new colorway of the these are pretty the 90s. snazzy yeah, these right? goes up to your knees these exactly are... oh that's the point you've got to give your your, your whole leg support uh, as you're being on those shoes all day yeah please don't wear shorts when you're wearing yeah. this though. <laughs> exactly <laughs> but basically match your socks 
Yeah, to the nine. With you your know, shoes, so you can look as cool as Tyler Jensen out on the lanes. <laughs> exactly. Right? All right. But seriously, not, not only are they cool looking, but they're extremely valuable. They're, they're invaluable to your support. All right. So again, make sure to check out shop.bufabowling.com to get your pair of limited edition THE9 from Dexter. Limited quantity only in Canada, only 36 pair are available. Right. Already half sold at least, so make sure you get them while they're hot. One time buy, once they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. All right, Mark Buffa here alongside Bud from Dexter. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>